Dustin Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here and welcome to my review for the brand new Season 3 Omnitrix. So we finally have a full on new Omnitrix. This is in the sort of like B class style of the, the lesser expensive one, about $13.99 I believe. Not the full on uh, deluxe like this one. I'll show a, a comparison here in a couple minutes. Um, but just real quick, like look at the box, it literally says new season three Omnitrix, which is like a first. They've never really titled them like that before. And then you got some, you know, aliens on the front. You got new Humongousaur, Heat Blast, and then Shock Rock. And then on the, back, on the back, it shows you some of the new figures. I will be doing reviews of them. Don't worry. I'm just trying to track them down. At the moment, I've only found like the old figures like this, but in this new packaging that's like this. So it's like, I just missed them or they haven't gotten them yet. But anyway, so yeah, this is done in the sort of B-class, little bit less expensive style, and it's got the new design on it, but let's compare it to, this is the original one of the same, like, price range, and you can see that it's very close to the same mold. I mean, these edges are a little smaller and kind of sharper, not like they're going to cut you, but you know, you see these are more rounded, and then you don't have the tubes here anymore, and then obviously the color swap out. Um, Honestly, aesthetically, this one reminds me a little bit of the Omniverse one, just in terms of like the paint job, like the white green bit. A little bit of Alien Force 2, but yeah. And they both have like the permanently sticking up dials, like you click them in for the noises, but um, they won't stick, which is kind of annoying just because, you know, the way it works in the show, I kind of wish it would click. It could be one of those mechanisms that kind of breaks over time, but still it would be nice. But it's the, basically the same functionality as this one here which is primarily about lights, sounds, and voices. Um, and then, I already showed it really quickly, but here's like, this is the deluxe, like full on, you know, super, not ultra, electronics version. I don't know if we're gonna get one of these for this. I haven't seen it yet. The the release schedule for these Ben 10 toys is a lot weirder and harder to follow than the Bandai ones, where I'll just kind of randomly find them, and I wouldn't have heard anything about them previously. But so yeah, I get a feeling we'll probably get at least one more of these type uh, eventually, but this was all I have right now. But anyway, turn it on right here. Get those confirmation noises, which sound really nice. And then this will light up here. You can see the silhouette back here. You have accelerate, got the little dial on the top. Let's go ahead and you press it down. So you got a series of phrases. Now turn the dial. And that is Shock Rock. This is Wrath, so Wrath makes a return if you saw on the back of the box. Punny. Alright, now stink fly. Time to get my stink on. I'm the alien with stinkitude. Smells like victory. I'm stink fly, and I'm here to kick some tail. Time to get my stink on. I'm the alien with stinkitude. Alright. Heat blast. Don't worry, everyone. Your world famous alien hero is here. Heat blast. Fire it up. Flame royal to perfection. Time for some firepower. All right, and this one's forearms. Four on the floor, and you're out the door. Here comes forearms. Ah! Brilliant phrase. Rah. My fists are getting cold. Put some gloves on. Warm them up. Four on the floor, and you're out the door. All right, now we have cannonball. I cannonball. See? Ha, let's play alien ping pong. I'll be the ball. Big bad bolt coming up. Rock and roll. I'm there you go. Now we have a uh, slap back. I believe this is slap back. Alright, Diamond Head, my personal favorite. I'm taking a shine to you. Think I'm headstrong? I'll take that as a compliment. Alright, let's do this. Like I said, can't stop Diamond Head. I'm taking a shine to you. Alright, Humongousaur. Don't move, or I'll squash you. You're a 
about to go extinct. Sonic Blast! Time for Jumungasaur! Don't move, or I'll squash you! I believe that was the cycle. And then back to Accelerate. So that is all the aliens. You have a mix of this sort of new 10 lineup here of some of the new aliens, some of the ones that were also on the previous Omnitrix. And kind of like the other one, I do like how this works in terms of I think the light looks really good. I like that it stays lit and it looks pretty accurate there. Um, and I like that it stays on. I think I said that already. Uh, but, and I like the phrases. I think they either, if they didn't get the voice actors from the show, they're definitely really close. So I like that. And I think for like a small price, it's it's a pretty nice value in terms of the amount of sounds you get. But my main two complaints about this one is even though this is obviously the less expensive class, um, I wish that the click stayed in so that it felt more authentic to the show. And I feel like it should have a generic transformation noise, like maybe a third mode or something when you press it down, even if it's just lights and sounds noises, you know, because that's mainly the two things you want out of an Omnitrix, especially in the last few years, is a transformation noise and a, you know, alien phrase. So I think that's you know, would make it better. Even though there could be a deluxe version of this and there is this old deluxe version, it'd be nice just to have that for this one to make it seem less like a sound demo and, you know, more like a full-on Omnitrix. And, you know, I forgot to mention, but you have this nice little strap here. It's it's like thin, so it doesn't give you that full gauntlet feel, but it's at least a nice quality. The other one had the same kind, and the deluxe one had like the Velcro one. I do kind of miss in Bandai's era when they had the gauntlet one, and it was like the same style of strap, but it basically was as large as this, so it would mimic the gauntlet feel, which I think is nice. I think it just kind of makes it feel more like the Omnitrix for kids and stuff. But anyway, overall, this is a solid toy. I think it's got a lot of phrases for the price. I just wish they tweaked it a little bit better to be like a better all-around Omnitrix, Omnitrix, Omnitrix experience experience, excuse me, and don't forget to stay tuned for all the Ben 10 reviews that are upcoming. I'm on the hunt for the latest ones. Like I said, I've, I've gotten a whiff of the figures. I'm hopefully um, going to be able to find the new ones pretty soon and hopefully maybe a new deluxe version if they have one and other stuff. Like I said, these are kind of weird because they just kind of show up without warning. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for all my videos so you can see more Ben 10 videos and other nonsense. Anyway, until next time, Dawson Ryder, Signing out.